today we're going to do two things. We're going to pull the headlights and get rid of the haze, uh, get them bright and shiny again, and also uh, update the angel eye to a brighter, whiter color. On this video, it actually it actually looked fairly good. Uh, they're much yellower than they appear in the camera. Uh, and much dimmer, so uh, I think the day, the difference will be day and night, so to speak. So let's get started pulling this out. There are two uh, T Torx uh, screws that hold the upper connectors to the headlight. Uh, one here and one here. Uh, just simple, simple removal. <clears throat> and there are two more small uh, bolts, much more difficult to see. Um, one is down there through uh, this slight space between the uh, uh, headlight and the body. Right there, so a couple extensions on an 8mm. We'll take that right out. And because of the location, it's difficult to get to. Uh, do yourself a favor and pull it out with a magnet. Save a lot of time. Final bolt is over here, right in the corner. You can kind of see it down there in the bottom. Uh, again, tight spaces, but nothing that's really a problem. If you have a long quarter inch drive um, socket with a couple extensions, um, should come right out and by the way um, it's kind of hard to see but this one is uh, on a slotted uh, carrier so you don't really have to take either one of them entirely out uh, so I suggest leaving that one in uh, the other one's probably easier to take out and to facilitate getting clearance uh, it's probably a good idea to loosen this a little bit and to remove the back cap cover, which is comes off easily a quarter turn or so and pops right off. That'll give you a little bit of clearance to get around this thing, which is now a little bit looser because I loosened this bolt. Okay, now with the headlight uh, out of place, I put the cap back on just to, uh, just to protect the wiring. You can flip this over just for a little better a uh, little better look uh, there's a you have to pry up this little tab here to remove this socket and then this connector you push down on the um, plastic housing like so and at that point the plug is loose and should be fairly easy to remove so now the headlight is entirely out of the car. The, the angel eye bulb is right there. It's in kind of a difficult to get to spot. I think this one's got to come out to make room. Uh, but you can see the housing here pretty clearly. Uh, the new ones are slightly different. Uh, it's an LED style bulb uh, that uses uh, an adapter to go in there, but I think it'll all fit. It's going to be tight. Let me see if I can get it in there. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, it just turns about a sixteenth of a turn counterclockwise, or to the left, as you prefer. And uh, that loosens it up, and then you just wiggle it out of the uh, socket and pull it out. And at this point, you should be able to just pull the uh, little, uh, little plug out and see where I'm at. Okay, the new bulb uh, looks a little bit different than the old one. Uh, I'm counting that it'll fit in there. Uh, it has the same type of connector that the old bulb did, so this should connect directly without needing the little uh, extra extra wiring harness they give you there. Uh, that's my theory anyway, so I'm going to plug this in. Looks like it's going to be very snug because of the rubber uh, surround on this. It'll uh, be a nice tight waterproof fit. And at that point I should be able to slide it into place and um, 
hopefully it's not too deep to fit in there you can kind of see how it bumps up against that little light tube and uh, with any luck this new longer nose will take it right up to the end there okay plugged in now just a matter of sliding it in here uh, which may be easier said than done because uh, the old one is pretty tight um, oh, went right in and uh, it's gonna take two hands to get it inserted and twisted but uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down to do that hey went right in piece of cake easy peasy um, it's a little fiddly you got to make sure it's fully seated uh, just keep turning it until uh, you got to wiggle it back and forth and you'll, you'll feel a seat whenever it clicks in positively and I don't know if you can see but there's really no gap uh, between the bulb the, the housing of the bulb and the uh, fixture so it's all looks really good now I just have to put the uh, put the high beam bulb back in uh, and by the way don't ever touch the bulb itself while you're handling it because it will dramatically shorten its life now it's just a matter of matter of plugging in the big connector in this direction and pushing this down to lock it and then plugging this one into place i i have the headlight upside down to make it easier to see but i'm going to flip it upside down so i have enough room to plug it in and again you can see that i've uh got the cover off just to get a little more clearance to that little thing there uh it takes a fair bit of wiggling something i can't do one-handed but you can see that the uh end result is much better much brighter uh not terrifically so the bulbs i bought were not advertised as being particularly bright but they are definitely a much wider more modern looking color than the original uh, dull yellow quite honestly so this is a huge improvement okay it's slid home you can see both angel sets of age eyes are burning nicely um, and now it's just a matter of tightening down uh, the two bolts uh, back there putting the cover on obviously as cool as that looks uh, and then putting these two big bolts up on top uh, taking care that you get the headlight aligned. There is a certain bit of cosmetic alignment to be done uh, But it's all very intuitive and very easy and the end result was about 13 bucks and uh, I hadn't had to take the old clear coat off uh, Really just about probably 30 minutes work tops uh, for a big improvement And one last thing uh, there will be some who are tempted to try this with the uh, headlight in place. I suppose it is theoretically possible, but I've got not the biggest hands in the world and it would just be horrible to try to get that, uh, that bulb aligned in there. Uh, I just don't think it would even be possible. So um, I would recommend taking the headlight out. Uh, good chance to clean it up anyway. Uh, again, this one I've sanded it and buffed it and it's much much better still a little cloudy i still have to put a clear coat on it but um just kind of ran out of daylight and while it's hard to really get the full effect the end result is a much brighter not nearly as bright as it looks like in these photos but a much bluer whiter angel eye that looks much more up to date it's not as bright as some of the new ones which personally i think are way too bright anyway uh, so I couldn't be happier. Uh, I hope it looks as good in the final result here as it does uh, in person because that's really a big improvement for not much money and not much time.